Hey there, welcome to another radio related video and this is another video on the basic operations of your ICOM ICR20 communications receiver and so today we are talking about tuning steps, how to change the tuning steps on your receiver and uh, why tuning steps. If you uh, are new to radio and you have this little ICOM you say, hmm, I don't understand what, what are tuning steps and what, what are you supposed to do and and when do I change them? And when do I know if what's the tuning step? Uh, these are all, you know, legit, legitimate questions for a newbie. Uh, the big, big, I would say, the big picture, and it's really a general picture, is you'll want tuning steps in the uh, one to five kilohertz range. If you're in uh, the short wave bands or the medium wave band. Uh, if you're in Europe, you'll want 9 kilohertz because your uh, spacing of the medium wave AM band is not the same as North America. Uh, long wave, 1 kilohertz increments probably. Uh, in the short wave bands, you'll want 5 kilohertz or 1 kilohertz depending on what you want to do. But uh, if you're listening to single sideband signals, you'll actually want to go uh, really precise into 100 hertz or 10 hertz so that you really really can tune precisely on the signals. In the VHF range the most of the frequencies are in 5 kilohertz increment but there are new spots now with 12.5 kilohertz there was a uh, change of uh, channel space on the different VHF UHF ranges and so um, these actually changed a little bit uh, before VHF signals were only 5 kilohertz apart now they are 5 and 12.5. Uh, of course the air band, the airplane band is 25 kilohertz spacing. And in the UHF range, uh, you'll probably want to have 12.5 kilohertz spacing, which is basically the spacing of most of the UHF bands. But of course, uh, maybe you've seen in some videos uh, when I tune uh, amateur radio satellites, for example, um, I've used a very, very precise 10 hertz or 100 hertz spacing because these signals are much much narrower and need to have the precision of the tuning so uh, if you you know go on google and type uh, UHF VHF uh, channel spacing or tuning steps you'll probably go come across frequency lists with the different spacings available uh, they are interesting because if you scan with the radio, uh, having the right frequency step will actually help you scan signals better uh, because you'll always be on the frequency when it stops. Uh, if you don't, if you use an awkward spacing, you'll actually be off frequency uh, a lot of the time. So um, these are things that are important, uh, but you know. Uh, you'll learn as you uh, use the radio and uh, if you're new, well, you know, just like I said, Google channel spacing and VHF, UHF and you'll have lists of frequencies and there's sp natural spacing that you should use. Now, how do you change the tuning steps of the radio? Well, first of all, you know the tuning step just by going to the upper right dial button and if you turn it clockwise, you see that here it changes one kilohertz increment. So that channel spacing is one kilohertz at this time. How do I change that? Maybe I want to have an ultra precise 10 hertz. What do I do? Well, here you go. You've got the little TS button here, which is tuning step, right above the nine button. So you press the nine key and hold. And here it says in the display, it will say set tuning step and you will see that depending on the tuning when you turn the right dial button you will actually clockwise put tuning steps that are higher and you see here all the way to 100 kilohertz or if you want to go precise and go in the hertz range you go counterclockwise and it will go down to 0.1 or 0 0.01 kilohertz and you notice that when you get really precise, a new set of numbers appear on the display showing you that you are actually tuning more precisely. And to confirm that step, all you have to do is do a quick press on the 9 button. And here you are tuning at 10 hertz. 
Now maybe you want to tune um, UHF frequency. So we'll enter for example 450 megahertz commercial band. But now you want to tune it in 12.5 kilohertz steps. You want to make sure you're in 12.5. So you press and hold the tuning step button. Press and hold 9. And it's already set here, but if it's not set, you'll turn your dial button to actually go to 12.5 kilohertz. And then a quick press on the 9 again. And it's official. And if you tune with your right dial button, you'll see that it goes in 12.5 kilohertz spacing, which is pretty much what you want in that range. So this is interesting because you'll be tuning around actually the uh, bands at the precise step that you want and if you don't want that step you can actually tune the band in other types of steps that are available in the radio on the tuning step range. So it's pretty cool. So you just have to remember the number 9 key on your keypad gives you tuning step by pressing and holding the button. And right dial button, almost always this button to actually change the settings when you're in a setting mode. So don't forget that. And you just tune around. What's cool about it, and you press 9, quick press to actually confirm. And what's cool about this radio is that it remembers the tuning steps that you've put before on different ranges. So if, for example, you were in uh, 1 kilohertz steps in the HF band, uh, 12.5 kilohertz steps in the UHF, and uh, 6.25 in the VHF range, the radio will actually remember all the steps that you've chosen on all the bands. And that's really, really cool because you don't have to enter the steps every time. So this was a little tutorial on tuning steps, hope that you understood and that you understood how to actually put those tuning steps in your radio. Um, one, if you have any comments or questions let us know, it's always fun and there are no stupid questions, maybe something you didn't understand. And uh, hey, if you like these videos, click the subscribe button. And you'll be informed when we have new videos online. There's going to be a complete manual for the ICOM ICR20 here. So it's going to be really neat video manuals on how to use your radios. So I hope you enjoyed these uh, videos and uh, that you actually uh, continue uh, watching our channel, the ICOM ICR8500 and R20 uh, channel. So great two, two great radios that are being uh, covered here on this channel. So thanks for watching 73's.